Meantime, roads plowed by El Paso County will likely stay snow covered for a day or two longer. A worker shortage has led to fewer plows on the roads for the last two years. And we've learned that new incentives meant to attract workers and keep them haven't worked out as planned. KRDO News Channel 13 Scott Harrison is live at the county's highway department to explain. Scott. Well, remember we told you at the start of this trend two years ago that the county waived the requirement for applicants to have a commercial driver's license, which isn't cheap to get on their own. And so the county instead decided that all new hires could earn their CDL license and get trained for that right here on the job without having to pay for it themselves. But some workers took advantage of that, got their CDL here, and then left for better paying jobs. The worker shortage in El Paso County's highway department means that a full call out for snow events is no longer full. Only 32 plows went out on Wednesday's storm instead of the maximum 42. Should get into some good drifts out there today. It means added responsibilities for drivers like Mike Slater, who's been a county maintenance worker for nine years. Uh, even the area that I'm heading out to now, uh, we're, I'm covering three areas. So that we would usually have two more drivers. So it means more work? More, more work, yeah. In an effort to hire more employees and keep them, the county has now done what it didn't do at the start of this trend. The salary and benefits package has increased. I will tell you, our entry level position from when I started here three years ago, it's nearly $5 more per hour than what it was when I started three years ago for our entry level, our, our entry level employees. And then it tears up through that throughout the, uh, you know, throughout the, you know, your progression through the county and the different uh, levels of responsibility. That should result in a significant improvement, especially considering that a third of the highway staff is new workers hired within the past two years. Which has changed our recruiting efforts as well. Uh, we are really gearing towards kids that are coming out of high school right now that are looking for careers, kids that aren't going to college, kids that are not uh, joining the military. And here's something and here's something that may surprise you. The county says that most of the new employees hired in the last couple of years are coming not from southern Colorado, but from as far away as California and Illinois. We are live in El Paso County tonight. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13. All right, Scott, thanks. Meanwhile, the city of Colorado Springs not experiencing the same driver shortage. A spokesperson today told us it currently has plenty of drivers to staff a full call out, which is around 35 to 40 drivers, and they can increase that to 50 drivers if needed to cover the area. The city does have a few vacancies, but not enough to impact the overall snow removal operations.